I just did a really cool wedding in the city um, in a really nice penthouse. Nice. <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to be in a penthouse. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did. so I was using the bathroom. I was using the tissue that was using the <laughs> stuff in the refrigerator. Um, just kidding, I wasn't. De algo que yo pensaba que era algo que was going to like ruin my life. Um, definitely was a gift from God that he gave me. I hope that my story does inspire someone and I hope that um, people know that just because you get a diagnosis, um, it doesn't have to define you. But I would tell her that things get better and everything happens for a reason. Hola familia, welcome to another episode of the New Jersey Business Podcast. El día de hoy comenzamos la cuarta temporada y la comenzamos a lo grande. We have a special guest today, Daniela Moncada from Beyond the Signs, our really good friend and a supporter of the New Jersey Business Podcast community. So, Danny, welcome to the podcast. Gracias. Thank you. It's so great to have you here. Now, you guys know me, Paul Valverde, host of the podcast, and as co-host, I have my beautiful wife, Vanessa. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Now, I want to take time to give a special recognition and thank you to our sponsors. Something unique about this fourth season is that the podcast is being completely funded by our sponsors. So I want to take thank uh, Pati Bolaños from Eagle Immigration Global Online. I want to thank Jesse from Lashes by Jesse. I want to thank Mike from New Rise Cleaning. And I want to thank Diego from Red Lounge Barbershop. Thank you so much for believing in us and for enabling us to support other business owners and, and entrepreneurs throughout New Jersey. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor, we'll put the link in the description Uh, and you can uh, apply to become a sponsor of the podcast. We will also have links uh, de cada uno de nuestros sponsors en la descripción so that you may get in touch with them if you need their services or just to say thank you for supporting the podcast. Así que sin dejar que esto pase más tiempo, vamos a entrar a este episodio. And I want to give a special, special welcome to Danny because Danny is an innovator in her industry. Danny is a real influencer. Danny has this gift to bring people around her in such a unique way. Uh, about a year ago, we had a get together at your house, and it was funny. We had such a diversity, the diversity around the the table. There were so many of us that had met you in the weirdest of ways. <laughs> each of us. Uh, I don't know if you remember how we met. Yes, of course. <laughs> how can I forget? <laughs> you want to share with everyone how we met? Of course. Um, so I am a huge Facebook market. Um, how would you call it? Uh, Aficionado. Yes. And <laughs> I had the bright idea of buying a boat. What would you call that boat? Uh, it, uh, it's a jump, jump boat. Jump boat, which was like a 10 foot boat for like fishing. I had the bright idea to buy one of those boats um, to do a like a romantic dinner on the beach, on the lake, in the park. So my idea was to buy a 10 foot boat, put it on top of my car and decorate it super nice and then have a romantic dinner for guests and my clients to be inside of the boat and have a romantic dinner. So it was like a cute bait idea. <laughs> so um, I met Paul because he had the perfect boat. Um, I met up with him and I was trying to get the price a little lower. <laughs> so I told them, you know what? Um, I'll let you know this week. I'm going to go see some other boats. But I was not seeing any other boats. That was the perfect boat. Oh, that yeah. was a negotiation tag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, to this day, that's probably one of my best purchases on Facebook Market because it led me to Paul, who is um, such a great friend. But not only that, but also the best mentor I could have in this process. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. It's funny. I was uh, downsizing storage units, and so I was selling some stuff. And what's what's interesting about it is that that led to a friendship, that led to mentoring, that led to so much more. I mean, now we uh, we we are involved in in different things, including being part of the same uh, volleyball group. <laughs> okay, Eddie. You know what? Me? You know, a proposal. You plan a proposal. It, it, uh, 
Right. I mean, it's already a, a part of our life. Yeah. I, yes, a hundred percent. And so, as we were preparing for this new season, uh, we wanted to have someone who would bring value to our audience, who has a a story to share, and uh, also who was um, who was dear to us. And I just noticed that I made the biggest mistake of my podcasting career. Family, <laughs> he just no. forgive me. <laughs> Don't cancel me, please, Luigi. Come to stage, <laughs> front and center, Luigi. Let's give a warm welcome to Luigi. Look at him. Oh, oh, he's saying hello. He's all looking nice. He's looking sharp. He's looking so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Luigi. Family, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cutie. Danny. Yeah. I want to kick off our conversation asking you, um, how is it that you're able to remain uh, innovating in your industry? To how can you keep that um, uh, spark of creativity alive as you transform events and change people's lives? Because I will say, I believe that you truly change people's lives through the events that you plan. We I mean, weddings, that, that's such a, it's such a, um, Important. An important po milestone in anyone's life, proposals, and there are so many other important events that you plan. And so tell me, how do you do it? How do you how do you stay innovative and creative? Um, I feel like there's a lot of ways that I try to do that. One is investing in myself and in my business, taking classes. Um, your mentorship program was honestly one of the best investments I made um thus far. And watching videos online. Um And just trying to do something different because I feel like um, a lot of people just try to stick with like the same designs or I don't know. I just try to be like outside the box. You know, I like that you are very hands on in many of the things that you do. Um, I in social media, I've seen Instagram. I've seen some of the events that you plan. Uh, what are some of the cool ones that stick out? Huh. Um, I feel like I've done a lot of cool ones. Um, I just did a really cool wedding in the city, um, in a really nice penthouse. Nice. <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to be in a penthouse. <laughs> so, I did, so I wasn't using the bathroom. I was using the tissues. I was using the <laughs> stuff in the refrigerator. Um, just kidding. I wasn't. Um, <laughs> no mentiras. Um, that was a cool experience, um, to be finally, I guess, at that level or, be able to be considered um, a planner or coordinator for a wedding of that size. Um, uh, I think one that I'll always love is one that I did under the sea because my client had no budget, so that's always fun. <laughs> um, and then also Las Vegas one where we had um, a cigar lounge come. We had dancers, um, and that one was done in two weeks. So that was definitely um, very fast-paced. Yes, actually. But I love that. That's the one that sticks out to me. Was I was going to say a casino theme, but definitely Las Vegas theme. Yeah. Uh, that that yeah. definitely sticks out. And I can't believe that you were able to pull that off in two weeks. That's amazing. But yeah, that was fun. We had casino tables. It was a lot of fun. That's like a superpower. Danny, something else that I love about you, and we both do, is that you're an, a big advocate for mental health. Mm -hmm. And this... Ties, ties into your story and this ties in also to how you got started in your industry. And I would love for everyone to uh, learn uh, that, um, that part of your story. I know it's uh, getting a little bit uh, intimate and personal, but I know that you have a heart for this. And I believe que puede haber una persona that is going through something and they hear your story and they feel encouraged. Well, I hope that does happen. Um, so I started Beyond Designs. First of all, it was something I never planned. It was something that kind of just fell on my lap. Um, you know, God is great. And I think it's something that he put in my path. Um, so whenever um, I think of how great God has been with me in the time that he has given me, I hope that my story does inspire someone. And I hope that... Um, People know that just because you get a diagnosis, um, it doesn't have to befall you. Um, so back in 2020, during the pandemic, um, 
I, you know, everyone was locked in, everything was closed. So I felt like my mental health wasn't doing, wasn't doing good. Um, and I've always been super creative. Um, but I really never used my talents only when I, like, I had to like, you know, uh, like birthday was coming. So I would like do something creative for my friends or my family. But, um, during the pandemic, I really needed like an outlet. So art was my outlet. Um, so the first thing I ever did, um, to kind of help my mental health throughout this process was I did a mural in my house, um, which I love. So if I ever move, I definitely need to take like a piece of that wall because it's it's so important to me because it was the first thing that really led me into the path that I went down. Um, so once I started uh, creating art, people started, I think I made an uh, Instagram for it, an Instagram page for my art. Um, and people liked it and people started buying my paintings. And I was like, okay, I'm onto something. Um, and like I said, this was during quarantine. So I had nothing better to do than just paint. Um, and then one thing led to another and someone asked me to do a luxury picnic for her daughter's birthday. So I did it and um, I was like, wow, this is what I just charged is literally what I like half of my paycheck, what I make in two weeks. I was like, okay, this is definitely, I'm definitely on to something. And then one thing led to another. I invested in myself, watched countless videos. Um, and then that's how basically Beyond Designs happened. And um, it was definitely an amazing um, outlet for me and for my mental health and the issues that I was going through during that time. Mm -hmm. So um, de algo que yo pensaba que era algo que was going to like ruin my life um, definitely was a gift from God that he gave me in a very weird way because it was definitely a very hard time in my life. Um, but it was something beautiful because I learned that art is not just something you see, but it's also therapy. Danielle, what, what would you say to that Danny four years ago? Because you've been like... I mean, I'm, I'm so proud of you for everything that you have accomplished. And I know you have many plans for the future. And I think Cole and I were just like a big cheerleaders <laughs> from you for everything that you do, guys. And I know that that Danny from four years ago, she didn't even know what was about to happen. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I definitely didn't know. But I would tell her that things get better and everything happens for a reason. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate uh, you being so vulnerable and sharing uh, this part of your story. I believe that that's something that people need to talk about. And uh, I love what you said, that you don't have to be defined by your diagnosis. Um, and it's amazing to me because I consider you such an such a, such a influencer. And such a connector of people. It's uh, look, folks. I'm not even kidding. Like <laughs> that's crazy. I could give you countless examples, countless. But I'm I'm gonna just bring one up. It was a third year anniversary of the podcast, oh, and we had everything together. Cool, Danny is right. Yeah, I want I want I want to know. So Danny was one of the sponsors of this event. And we had several sponsors and we had a DJ lined up for that night. And literally the day before, uh, the, the DJ reached out and said, I'm not, I'm not going to name him. Maybe I should. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, he just backed out. Hey, something came up, but blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to be there. And I'm like, what are we going to do? And Vanessa was like, call Danny. And I was like, I don't want to bother her. She's already, she's already, she's already, she's already uh, sponsoring. And I, I just don't want to bug her. He's like, no, no, call Danny, call Danny. And I was like, okay. So I did. I said, Danny, you won't believe it. Whatever. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. I'm not lying. Less than 10 minutes later, she's like, okay, I got a DJ for tomorrow. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, how much? No, no worries. It will be taken care of. It will be fine. And, uh, uh, and like, that's who she is. You know, she knows a lot of people. She's a big connector of people. The reason uh, people respond to her is because she has a genuine heart. Yep. And uh, I believe that's also what helps you prosper in business, that you actually have 
your client's best interest yeah. in mind. Um, Danny, uh, what would you say has been perhaps the most challenging aspect of uh, being an entrepreneur? Um, okay, well, first of all, uh, the entrepreneur life was never something I planned. Um, I went to school for speech therapy. So that's like the route that I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Because I've always wanted to help people. Um, so helping people is always a passion of mine. So entrepreneur was never, never an idea for me. My mom is a huge, huge entrepreneur. Um, and I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> So um, I think the biggest challenge for me has definitely um, been pricing and just managing a business itself. So um, which is why I hence I say that the boat purchase was the best purchase ever because <laughs> it led me to Paul, who is literally the best mentorship mentor ever. And his mentorship program was amazing. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. Danny, I know that you have also a, a lot of ideas, things that you want to do in the future. Um, can you share a little bit about some of those ideas, plans that you have and no, no commitment. So yeah. I want you to know what, what she's sharing. These are just, maybe she may, she may just, may just be thinking out loud. Okay. <laughs> All right. Think out loud. Okay. <laughs> Take that it's dreams again. <laughs> I mean, I have an upcoming class, um, in November for, um, balloons. Okay. So that's my next thing. That's my next venture, um, is my next class, which will be my third class. Um, and it's funny. That's such an accomplishment. Yeah, it's my third class, so I'm super excited. Um, I remember the first class I ever did, I told Paul, hey, listen, I want to do a class, but I think I don't have enough time to, like, get people for it. Because I think it was a month that I had. And he was like, no, we're going to do it. And Paul literally grabbed me by the hand throughout the whole process, and he helped me, and it was so successful. And now I'm like, okay, I could do a class in a month. <laughs> like, that's all I need. Um, so that's my next venture. And hopefully... God willing, we'll see if it's in the if it's in the plans for me. I would love to open up a venue and then during the week offer some type of art therapy for kids who are really in need. Yeah, that that was always like my dream when I started. That's beautiful. I I think we'll see it come to fruition. And if there's anything we could do to help, we'll be more than happy to. And folks, uh, Danny is giving me a lot of credit as her mentor, but the truth is. That from day one, one of the things that I said to her is you will get out of this as much effort as you put into it. And something that um, that it's a, a great quality to have is she is teachable and she is uh, coachable. She is so capable, so smart, but at the same time, humble enough to receive advice. And I think that's what has made uh, uh, many of the, the mentoring uh, come to fruition. So I, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you for that, Danny. I believe that venue is definitely something that is happening. I think I, I want to say is, is within the will of God. I think it's something that I could visualize you, uh, especially the art therapy. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that would look like or what you have envisioned? What do you dream about when it comes to, I really don't know what that would look like, but I would love for it to be for kids who are in need of it. Or adults, or teenagers, or whoever. Obviously, yeah. How how were you able to um, channel the uh, your energy into art when you were going through difficult times? Um, honestly, it was just such a creative outlet for me that I didn't have to think about anything. It was just me and the paper, and the brush, and then feeling good after you were done. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 amazing. Danny, um, what advice would you give to other entrepreneurs that may be watching this that uh, are kind of in a similar position that you were in? Uh, you were kind of like, hey, um, it's, it was almost as if your hobby became a business, right? Yeah. Uh, almost, uh, almost by accident. And when you realize that it had potential, you put a little, uh, you put more intentionality behind it. Right. So for someone who may be like, hey, you know what? I kind of noticed that I might be able to make money out of this. What advice would you give them? Um, I would definitely advise them to do some research, market research, just to see if it's something that has potential. Um, second. I would say if you have no idea of anything in like the business world, entre entrepreneurship, 
definitely get some advice from someone who does. Um, and lastly, I think I would tell them to believe in themselves and um, go for it. 100%. 100%. So let me ask you this. Having um, planning events and doing things like that, have you ever had any like crazy thing happen or funny funny anecdote or anything like that that sticks out? What the hell did you say this? <laughs> <laughs> I guess there was a fight at one of my parties. <laughs> oh and oh, I had to put someone in a headlock. That was funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was funny. Hey, <laughs> listen. Was Event planning, decorating, security. Everything. Right. We all Beyond the science does it all. <laughs> Is there any event that you have planned that has like marked your life? Like you've been like, okay, this event has been just the greatest event of ever. I know that you already mentioned uh, one of the biggest ones that you have, but one that it was like very special to you in a way. <laughs> Impacted you in a special way. In a special way. I feel like every wedding that I coordinate, especially coordinating weddings, brings a lot of joy to me because I'm part of their special day and part of their special life. And then, Danny, so can you walk us through the process? A a say a client finds you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through a little like what the process will be like uh, as you talk to them and board them, etc. As I talk to them and, and what? And onboard them and take them on as a client. Okay. So um, normally when someone reaches out via Instagram, um, just to have like a faster response and communication, I normally um, ask them what their inspo is, if they have an inspiration picture or an idea of what they're looking for. Um, and then once they send something over, um, I'll calculate how much it would be for them and send them an invoice. Um, if it's something where we have to hop on a call, I would just send them my... Um, inquiry form and then they would put in all their information because regardless i'm going to ask them those questions so right they could just fill it out through there and then we'll hop on a call and um about their event nice and um for someone who may be looking to like looking for your services how far in advance ideally they will be contacting you um i mean i would say it's never too early to contact me if you're thinking i mean if you're thinking of having an event as soon as you book a venue definitely contact me oh so okay. i feel like it's never too early yeah, definitely. We don't want. I mean, that that two week casino <laughs> night came out great, well, but, amazing, but we don't well, want like you know, exactly. you got to got to charge extra for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Danny, what would be something else that perhaps you want to share with our audience before we wrap up? Something that maybe it's important to you, or a message that you want to leave them with? Um, I think the most important thing that I've always had a hard time with is at the beginning is believing in myself um you know believing that i'm worth it and that i'm worthy um so if you have an idea that you are trying a dream or an idea that you're trying to follow definitely put your all into it and you know god is great and it will work out in the end and i feel that for anyone who is going through a hard time if they ever want to reach out to me you're more than welcome to um i know that i only shared a like glimpse of my story, but I think I have a really pretty story um, of something that I thought was super tragic and has turned into the best thing in my life. So definitely we could go deeper into uh, your trajectory and what that looked like. But I believe that everyone gets uh, uh, at least a glimpse of uh, Danny, uh, who is the person leading beyond the signs. And uh, also potential clients get a, get an idea of who they're working with. And again, where there is someone who is looking, where, where there is a person who provides services that uh, might make sense to connect with someone who plans events and uh, does decoration, uh, definitely reach out to Danny. If you're a potential client, definitely do that. We're going to put her information in the description, in the description, in the show notes. So you get in touch with her, her website, as well as uh, her Instagram handle. Uh, it's been a pleasure spending our time together. It's been a pleasure uh, getting to being able to share your story with everyone. Danny, thank you so much for accepting this invite. I know it won't be the last time that you're here. Absolutely not. And <laughs> Yeah, this is only the first the first um, uh, 
a lot of time that we have you, but I know there'll be many more. When she has her venue and everything, we could have her again so she can tell us a little bit more about how that's going. <laughs> Hopefully next year. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Thank you, Anna, so much for being with me. Well, thank you guys for having me and Mr. Luigi, who's being very vocal over there. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot to say right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> a lot to say. <laughs> But thank you guys. I really appreciate our friendship. Um, and, you know, I, I appreciate God putting you guys in my path. I need to appreciate it. Family, there you have it. Danny Moncada from Beyond the Signs. God bless you. Bye.